Hey there, Robert Murray here, and in this video, this is uh, one of my weekly training webinars, uh, my What the Funnel training, where we dive into everything Groove Digital. I answer questions on the live call. You can see in the description what this training webinar was about. Sometimes I build out funnels or websites or stores inside of Groove Digital. So enjoy the training and cue the intro. We're going to carry on with where we left off last week. I'm going to go into Groove Carts. This is my paid uh, Groove Digital account. I've got a uh, hey Chris, loud and clear, perfect. I've got a paid version. I've got a, a trial demo version, like a free version. So we're going to go into Groove Cart again, like we did last week. And uh, we're going to carry on building out my, my new mask, mask as in face mask store, and add in a few more products. I've been doing some um, videos this week showing how to um, integrate with the different softwares, and we'll, we'll dive in now. And please, along the way, any questions about Groove Digital, anything regarding any of the softwares that are live, etc. Groove Cell, Groove Affiliate, Groove Mail, uh, sorry, not Groove Mail, um, Groove Video, um, please fire away. So, yeah, so we're in my Groove Cart store. Let me know, by the way, uh, as you're all flooded in, let me know if you are a free Groove um, Digital member, or you've got the full suite, and or you might have the um, the cut down package where you get all the Groove pages, unlimited, etc. And let me know if you've got Groove Cut. So in here, and um, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to go into products again, find products. So I did, I've done three videos this week on some of the plugins or some of the add-ons i've done a layer app video uh, showing how you can create your own flip-flops trainers handbags um whatever you need i've done the ali connect uh video again if you if you aren't part of my youtube channel already then please come on over and say hello and subscribe and like and comment i'll just chuck the um the channel in in uh the chat there uh it's just where I'm just doing shoot training videos on anything Groove Digital, even though it's called Groove Pages Tutorial. We didn't think about that when I set that up about a month and a half ago. Uh, I've done um, a training today that's being edited by my video guy, which will probably be sent onto YouTube later, setting up uh, T-Scape, adding the integration, designing your own T-shirts, which is really cool. Um, so I thought we'd have a little look at some of the other ones. There are a few that are paid. Uh, I'm pretty 99% sure that when I went to a Dropify video, I realized it was a paid service. I'm just using the Groovecart store, setting up um, some drop shipping with some masks and some different products just because I can. It's not something that I'll be really targeting to earn lots of money from. Um, uh, Madav, uh, aren't there subtitles? Subtitles for this, you mean? Um, if that's what you mean, yeah, unfortunately, no. Uh, no, there's no, <laughs> it's the only language I speak. I'm, spe I'm learning Spanish at the moment. Um, I'm getting there, getting there with the Spanish, but that probably wouldn't help you either, uh, Madav. Yeah, no, unfortunately not. Um, so I apologize if. If you speak English and I need to go a bit slower, let me know. That's absolutely fine. I kind of get into the zone when I'm doing the, the training webinars and I, I just kind of run with it. So we're going to dive in and have a look at Slingly. Uh, I can't, again, as I say, I don't remember which ones out of all of these are paid. Um, I think maybe Slingly was definitely one of them, yeah. But you've got a great deal with, again, if you're someone that wants to I'm from India, that's why it's a little, yeah, I apologize, Madhav, I try and keep keep things at a better pace so that uh, I'm not going too fast. So if you are someone that's looking at using Groovecart to set up a full store, uh, then Slingly could be something for you. We've got a special offer that Mike and the Groove team have, have figured out for us. It's at 297 one-time payment and you get lifetime access and it's normally uh, 997 per year so very worth looking at um, for me like I say I won't be doing that 
and I'm 99% sure when I did this the other day, it was 30. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was like $37 a month or something. Uh, I don't even know if I actually went through and set up an account. Or possibly not. Did I just go in? Yeah, I wonder why their button's not working there. Okay, I'll let someone know. Uh, so it doesn't look like I actually set an account up. I wonder whether I started the process. I think I started actually recording a video. There you go. And then it came up saying $47 a month. Now, they do have a 14-day free trial. But, you know, so I probably will do a video showing how to set it up and showing how to integrate everything. But for me, I'm not going to be looking at selling a lot of products. So paying $47, another $47 a month is not going to, it's not going to be worth it for me. Uh, the Groovecart Marketplace. I know I was looking at the infographic earlier. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Infographic. So if you are someone that has bought the full suite and I see that Ebe, you've got the full paid version. Inside the Groove Digital Official Group, uh, in fact, it's here as well just realized the infographic is giving you all of the updates and where things are happening etc so um i'll get i'll pop it in there but it's in your it's in your uh in your account and it's really interesting to look at obviously we are in august now um webinar jam has been released and integration Timed and animated elements has been delayed till the 28th groove member has been delayed it was I thought it launched, I tried testing it today and it's still not quite right. So it's potentially today. Uh, partner contracts have been delayed and they give you a little explanation. Import pages is hopefully gonna be 28th, which will be the end of this week. Customer and cart abandons has been released. Wistia integration has been delayed, 28th. Groove sell uh, marketplace, so that's where I was just about to go into. Update this feature by August 28th. Where was I? Oh, that's right. I was going to go into it. I don't know what it will do when I go into it. Let's have a look. So this is where you'll be able to have your own products. Oh, it's, actually, it's kind of live, but I'm guessing it's obviously not working properly yet. So you can then go and select products that other Groovesters are um have designed or made etc so you can see some of these would have been made with the layer app that i did a video on the other day groove cart graphic design okay so so you can actually go in here and, and set a few things up so let me click on that and see what it happens okay okay i'll leave groove cart for now uh, sorry the groove cart marketplace we've also got printful and I'm pretty sure this is uh, print on demand, drop shipping. So let's have a look at that and then click go to app. Morning, SW. Um, good to have you here. No problem. So printful. So same thing. It's going to need your API key. Uh, let's open that up in a new window. And as I say, some of these things I've not even opened, I've not even tested, I've not even gone into them. So I'm kind of doing this live with you guys. Again, I don't know if Printful has a paid. Okay. I don't know if it has a paid um, membership or anything, but you can already see some of the products that you can design clothing, hats, bags, phone covers, socks. Wow, home decor, collections. Quite a wide range, and you see over here on the left, long sleeve t-shirts. Mm, cool, cool. So, what I'm going to do is create an account. Let's go in and sign up. Uh, give it a second; it'll convert. Because <laughs> I'm in Spain, it's always doing the translation. Uh, I'm just going to dump in any password. Actually, no. Let's use that one. Accept the terms. That's fine. What would you like to do? Grow my virtual store. I'll 
to so what would you like to do with printful it doesn't have groove in there yet let's click other what's the current annual income cool so I'm guessing now I'm gonna to have to find my API in here so this is my account so I might as well save that under tools Let's just go and confirm my email. SW, you've been looking at Printful. Yeah, okay, Printify and Zazzle. Okay, I'm guessing they're all similar. I don't recognize those actually inside, inside here. So I'm guessing you're looking at those as external ones. Mark, 60-day groove cart challenge week uh, three covers setting up Printful, perfect. Yeah, I kind of started off um, jumping on those lives. I mean, they were like 1 a.m. in the morning for me. And there was some helpful stuff in there, but I just felt like the guy that was running them, I can't think of his name, he was trying to be helpful, but he just, it was a bit laborious. He just, it just dragged. And, and after two or three sessions, I didn't really learn enough to make me want to stay on them, but I could go back to them. But yeah, thanks, Mark. So they're in obviously the training area, the Groove Digital Training. Uh, Mohammed, I think, can I get money free? Uh, I don't want, sorry, I don't have visit card and PayPal account, money bank. Yeah, just rephrase your question, please, Mohammed. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Can, can I get money free? I don't have visit card, a oh, visa card and PayPal account. Okay, uh, yeah, rephrase that for me, Mohammed. Marx has agreed, yeah. Um, so, let me go back in and yeah that that again i'm going to put a request in when you click into printful it opens up in the same window um so you need to go back in and kind of log in again it's a bit strange slightly annoying actually yeah so now i've got to re-log back in although i'm logged in here still i need to get the api cube so i'm guessing oh it's probably actually over here i've just realized settings my account notifications users uh, if anyone sees it and i'm just being blind just let me know normally it has a little explanation here of where to find it but it doesn't at the moment integrations i'm guessing oh so that's loading i'm just gonna grab some coffee oh no And you might see I've got a, I've got a strapping on my elbow. I've got um, a swollen elbow. I'm not quite sure what it is and where it's come from. So I've seen the the doctor, and I've got to compress my elbow to get all the fluid out. Potentially it's from paddle, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, come on, come on, make this really simple for me. Why are you not very obvious? Uh, if anyone knows where. Let me know. Enter your API key, print for connection. A lot of the other ones that I've done videos on over the last three or four days were just so simple. I mean, I probably should just be going through this, create a product template, connect your store. That's obviously not going to let me. Let me just quickly confirm my email. That's good. That's that done. Let me refresh. Uh, tendonitis SW. Uh, I've got um, tennis elbow, um, which is here, um, but then my whole elbow, I've got a massive big sack of fluid on the end, which wasn't painful, and then suddenly, about four or five days ago, became painful. It's just excessive paddle. I had a, I had a lesson this morning at 8 a.m. I've got a game tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, you know, I love paddle. It's great. Um now my thing's not translating. Create a product template. I really just want to go down to, where's it gone? Connect my store. Is that, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Choose the platform. You ship nation API. Uh, okay. So 
it's very helpful when um, I'm trying to learn Spanish and my computer automatically puts most web pages in Spanish because I kind of try and read some of it and then I'll translate. But um, when I'm trying to do a video, Robert Store Add Product C Shop Compare Platforms. Okay. I think that's what I've just done, but where is the API? Ah, okay. So basically I need to get rid of one of those. And hopefully it'll give me the API. <laughs> it's not making it very easy for me. Robert Store. Wow, come on. Kidding me, man. Product templates. You know what? I'm just going to park that for a moment. Let's have a look and see what we can actually do in here. Choose a product, design a product template, add products, create your first product. Let's have a look. Let's see see what it's like in here. Uh, let's create a hat. Let's go with trucker cap or I'm going to go with a trucker cap. Improve will go to settings, then AOI. Uh, thank you, Mark. Let me. Oh, there it is down there. It, it was just further down. It looked like that stopped there. So when I scrolled, it didn't actually find it. Oh, well done, Mark. Thank you. Enable API. I agree. As with most things on the internet, I don't even look at the, uh, <laughs> the agreement. Okay, so let's save my key. Good. So let's take the product use for low orders. So this is obviously inside my printful inside of my Groovecart account. So let's go back over here. And where was I? I think I just went into product templates tonight. Let's quickly design a product and we'll dump it into my store to see how simple it is. What did I say? I was going to do a hat. Let's do a white hat. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, so, see, this is the problem. See, <laughs> sometimes my Spanish thing doesn't convert inside a product or inside something. So, let's just dump an image. Make sure the form of the files. Yeah, I understand that. I'll probably go back and read that later. So sample files, or I can upload something. So let's just go and upload something. Again, I'm just going to do something random just to save time. <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter, but there's part of me that wants it to be at least look okay, which is just... It's a man with money. Not quite sure whether that's going to work. Click on the file to continue. I'm guessing it's just going to dump it there. And then you can drag around, add some text. It looks like you now clip art. Yeah, obviously it doesn't come out very well, but I kind of knew that ah, embroidery area. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> It's very clever, that, isn't it? It just, um, it's just taken that image that was kind of white and ugly and turned it into like an embroidery. Wow, it's very clever. Um, flat embroidery, 3D puff. Don't know if it will change actually on the... Let's go back to the design. Let's see what text we can add. I don't know. Just want to write some text. Uh, so, are they saying then that everything's got to be inside that? So, really, well, it's kind of tight in this. Okay. So, you've got to be, um, the image has got to be small enough, etc. 
Um, that's obviously a terrible design, <laughs> but um, I think you'd agree that's really easy to like throw together. What's the turn? What we're looking at there. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, line up. Oh, is it turning the image? Uh, right, okay. Yeah, it's very sensitive. Just let me do that. Yeah, okay. Um, to line up, double. Let's just continue for now. Gora Snapback Trucker. It looks pretty cool. Obviously, it's r rubbish text and it's just a random image, but it looks kind of cool. Product colors, flat embroidery, already 3D plus. So it looks like I would be paying 16 euros 13 tax and other charges excluded. Let's have a look. The snapback trucker cap. So you can see here there's a product. Oh, wow. That's cool. So does it actually add that to other images? You can kind of see the text there. Um, let's click Add to Store. So I've set up two of them, haven't I? So I need to get rid of one. I was hoping there would be more images. Proceed to the mock-ups. Product shipped all over the world. Uh, SW Bursitis. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what it is, but hopefully with the um, the ointment and the tablets, it will settle down. SW, your doc may ask you to rest that elbow for a while and recommend some OTC relief for pain. You should start icing that elbow 15 minutes. That after. Yeah. I know, I know. Until he tells me to rest it, my brain just says, oh, I'm all right, I'm good. So there you go. It's got all the different imagery. It it shows the image with the text and the, uh, sorry, shows the hat with the text and the image there, but on these ones it doesn't. Man. Okay, so I'm guessing you can add these as well. Plain mock-up. Hmm. Okay, continue. Image for mock up. Set prices. So it's very similar to when you're in Groove Sale, just setting up a product, etc. So choose your profit and we'll give you the sale price. So printful price, one time digitalization fee. Increases by. So. So I'm guessing just the profit to cover money for taxes and shipping costs. So I'm guessing they mean this. Let's say that for each new design, there is a one-time fee of 575 afterwards. You can reuse the design. Okay. Yeah, so it kind of ends up being quite expensive once you've added that on, doesn't it? Adding the new product to store, but pretty simple to set up. Um, there's there's nothing complicated there, is there? So let me come in here now. Uh, let's come out of that and then go back in there. I wonder what was it called? Snapback. I don't know whether that's already added in here or whether I have to. Okay, there it is. So once you're in here, then obviously you click on add to my store and I'm just adding random stuff at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll clean it all up um, once we get closer to launching it. And now we're, we can edit our product inside of, obviously I change all this, I change my description. 
Um, I'd add it to whatever group or category I needed it to be. So 35.55 is the price. So they've obviously added the price. Uh, what? Once you click add button, it can take up to five minutes to finally generate the product. Okay, let's try that. So really simple again, Printful, uh, no stress, like layer, the layer app, and like a um, uh, couple of the other one. It's gone. So if I go into my products now, it did say it could take a few minutes. So if it's not straight away there, then I'll... Um, I'll come out of it. It is already there. And now again, now I can click in here and edit. I can either view there. It's going to have no information because I haven't had a description. I haven't changed the headline. I haven't, I haven't really done anything with it. I've just thrown it together. So this is what it would look like in the store. Oh, so it does. It adds that. That is quite cool. But I wish there was more images. So... My question there is, uh, is how do I have more than the one image? Because I want five or six. So I don't know where I add that. Oh, this is just the product template, so that's probably not right. Uh, see product information. So again, that's a learning curve. Obviously, I needed to add more images in there, so I could have had the front view, the side view, the girl with the hat on. But it's cool because it does actually show the design on there, and it looks like really real. I mean, it's very cool software that they've done that with. And then obviously, you'd have all your description, etc., down here. Um, okay. So, see product information, prices. Uh, reviews, etc. Okay. I'm just going to go back in here and see is there a way? It's a product template. I didn't see in there. Okay, so I'm in product there. Maybe I need to go into design. Oh, that's back into the design. Okay. Well, obviously, next time I'd do it, I'd I'd make sure that um, I'm adding more than the one image. Maybe I did just click on that one. It probably would have given me the options if I'd done control to click more than one. There's nothing about images there, is there? Okay. So again, it's just a bit more investigation. So there's an example one here where they've obviously put um, this logo onto the T-shirt. It's kind of cool. So if we go back into product templates and click here, I'm kind of intrigued really quickly just to look in here at some of the collections and, oh, cool. So you can do cups, stickers, blankets, Embroidered aprons, cushions, wall de decorations, posters, towels. Wow. If I go back, it'd be quite cool to have, have some, you know, like a backpack with um, your business um, logo on it. Obviously, I, I'm doing masks, but I could do a, a designed mask if I wanted to build that for my tribe. So this is very similar to the layer app where you can do flip-flops and all these kind of things. Backpack, kind of cool. Again, that's the kind of thing you get every every year at Funnel Hack and Live. Uh, I've got probably five different backpacks now uh, with all their, um, very similar to this actually. Fast delivery in Spain. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, I like it. Uh, any questions on that, let me know. I'll leave that open. Uh, I'm going to come back in here, and I'm going to go into the Visual Builder and carry on trying to build out my home page. And I'm actually going to go over here. 
Oh, they've emailed me as well. That's fine. So if you were on last week on the um, the live What the Funnel training, we kind of started just building out a design. This is wrong. In fact, let me change that now. Settings. This was when I started building out for a client. I, we, we kind of tested it in my account. I've still got the logo set up in there. And any other questions about anything else that you're playing with inside of Groove Digital? Uh, have you played with the Groove Pages? Have you set up your Groove Sell? Have you set up your affiliate? Uh, are you selling? Oh, that's why I didn't change it because I don't actually have a new logo yet. But pretty sure we can knock up a logo in two ticks of a lamb's tail. Um, let me think. Let me think. We think I've got a few different logo softwares. Um, this is the problem with working online full time. These, these are just the tools that I've got uh, and trying to find stuff that you know you've got sometimes is very, very hard. So let me think, you know, what I do know I probably can do. Where is it gone? Um, I think in one of my video editing softwares, so either this one or one of the other ones. Um, I think there's a logo creator in here. And it looks like I'm just going to knock up a quick logo so I can get rid of that one there. Intro, Cover Pro, Mockup, Slide, Story, Whiteboard, uh, Architect, Custom Video FX. No, those are premium. I swear I had one. Um, which one was it? might be this one so my video guys who do all my video editing have got access to all of these different softwares oh, come on. so when we need a new intro video or something save them going they can build them all from scratch but using these kind of softwares just really help the speed speeding up the process so I, I very rarely log in here, but I know when I purchased one of them uh, more recently, it had a logo suite. I'd mentioned something last week, but now I cannot remember. Maybe it was more how to link up other paid. Yeah, were you, SW, I think you were, was it you that were talking about the blog, setting up a blog, and we kind of figured out that we could definitely do that. Um, but yeah, if you, if you remember, let me know. Come on, think, 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 categories. Long form, blah, blah, blah. intro, outro again. Smooth logo reveal. Now that's actually a, a video logo. I actually need to create the logo. I can't remember where it is. But I do also have a couple of free logo creators, but again, it's trying to find where I've used before trying to find where they are um, actually it might be at the top in under image sites uh, 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 oh, this really annoys me it annoys me because I know that I've used it and I would have saved it in here somewhere it's just trying to remember what it was called and hoping that I spot the logo or something like that just to save me sitting on live trying to find something. Come on. Because it was a really good one I was using. We had to create a few clients logos. No, nah, I'm just going to give up on it. Free logo maker. Is that the one? I think this is the one. So yeah, if you want to find that, uh, I haven't tested it yet. See if it is actually the one I think it is, but that's the link. Um, link into Facebook page. Yeah, that was right. SW. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, definitely. So if this is the one I think it is, it's, it's a free one. It's pretty straightforward. 
Um, I haven't got a business name for my store, so I'm just going to call it Mask Heaven. Don't know why. Just seems to fit. Obviously, I'll probably do it properly and set it up. So now what you're going to do is kind of figure out which kind of text you like the look of. I'm liking that. Probably that. Maybe that. Don't mind the curved. Don't mind that. No, yes. Now it's going to ask you for colors. Probably thinking over here. So now you can look for icons. Let's think, let's think masks. I, mean, I don't imagine it will have anything that will. Oh, okay. It actually does. <laughs> well, I suppose with the the current climate, they probably did had no mask in there before, or not that kind of mask anyway. But because it's um, the world is the way it is at the moment, I'm trying to figure out what would <laughs> a Hannibal Lecter mask? What do we think? I'm feeling like one of those two. Uh, let me know if you, you're seeing any anything that you think is jumping out. That one kind of because it's like a got a vent on the front, but it doesn't. It's not as obvious. It's a mask. So. I think I'm just going to go with as a logo. Which was a nice free logo maker. Uh, oh, it says you can pick more than one by the looks of it. <laughs> I kind of like that one because it's kind of a bit random. And now, if I'm right, it spits you out um, loads of different logos. Now, obviously, they're just like word logos with that little image that one of the images that I've selected. I kind of like that one. I don't know why. It's like a superhero or a villain uh, mask, but yeah, um, it's just something about it. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Which one you prefer? This one with the, 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 the normal mask, the, the funny guy, or this one where it's a bit more of a plain mask. What's your opinions on them? So anyway, so you can see here, it spits you out um, a bunch of these, and then you can click into each one, for example. And now I can change the color here. I can change whatever I need there. I can change different colors here. And so you can really go to town on it. And then if I remember rightly, you just download a version of it. Um, what we're doing it? Text. Yeah, so now, now I can go in and change all of these if I want. So it's going to give you all the ones you selected. Slogan. I wouldn't worry about a slogan. Icon. So I could. Oh, no, it's already got those icons there. Layout. Mm, probably. Like that. Let's get the colors again. Hmm. Yeah. Thoughts? Anyone? Um, I think I'm going to go with that text. I'm going to leave it with the blue. Um, oh, I forgot to sign up and log in. Oh, sorry. So even these guys do like all your different stuff. Um, I'm 99% sure I must have logged in before. Ah, damn. How did I do that before then? You know what? I'm just going to screenshot it just for now, just because I haven't got time to worry about setting it all up. And it doesn't really matter. I'm just, I'm just trying to not have an incorrect logo over here. So let's upload a logo. What does it say? Height 500. Upload image with width and height both less than 500. So I'm just over here now. My snag it. I'm just gonna mess around with this. Uh, Yeah.
it's messed around with it a little bit, but that's fine. Let's create a new folder in here. Sorry, the internet's really struggling today. Oh man. Frustrates me when it's um, slow. Uh, oh, I did. I did create a, a new folder the other day. Let's just put logo. So I'm going to upload that to there and just to switch it out. It's not going to be the right size or anything, but like I say, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure actually for the fav favicon, it needs to be, oh, maybe I'll get away with it. Okay, cool. At least now, uh, what do I call it? Mask heaven. As we're on, it'd be really interesting to find out if um, if Mars Kevin is actually available. Come on. Uh, question last week was how to link payment option and pop up box to landing page for collecting an email address. Oh, in the challenge, you mean SW? Okay, cool. Yeah. And have you got any any queries, questions, etc. about that? Oh, it frustrates me. The thing is, I've got six screens here, and I've got probably five or six windows open on each one. I really don't need all of that. Let me close down some of these ones. I was doing some shopping earlier, and I've got like 20 things in my basket. And slow. Right. I'm closing a lot of stuff down. I'm hoping it's not freezing for you guys. I had already clicked that. But... Come on. I think that's my account. SW, I have that many pages open all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a bad habit. And the, and the problem is I've got six screens and I've got my laptop over here, so I'm just greedy, totally greedy. Uh, let's just have a look. I don't, I don't imagine it would be available, but... don't know until you look is not available okay cool um, so that won't end up being my logo <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of that uh, where was I in here so I've switched out the logo in a way like it doesn't make any difference because it, it was only a temporary one anyway I'm gonna get rid of In fact, no, we're just going to mess around with this a little bit. Just masks. So this is some of the stuff we added last week. I just went and grabbed some images uh, and started creating a little slider up here. And we worked out that we could have that on auto slide. So it just it automatically slid, slid across. And then we just created some, some little um, different sections, handcrafted masks. Why do I need a face mask? And then we dumped some products in here that we already added to our store from AliExpress. So yeah, it took us no time at all. I think we put nine different ones down here. 
so that people can click straight through and, and start looking. And then we've got our testimonials, and then we start looking at the subscribe um, for our news. So I'm going to change that. Subscribe for deals and discounts. I think I'm going to change the size of that. No, that's not bad at all. Deals and discounts is fine. We set up this footer at the bottom. And one of the other things we didn't do was we didn't mess around much with this. We changed the, the style of the, the entire thing. So let's go into pages. Um, menu, there we go. That's what I want. Um, actually, I'm going to leave that there. Um, so again, they've changed it all around. So it used to be easy to actually set up different categories, etc. But it seems like where they've changed it all, it means you've got to kind of relearn it again. You know, let me get rid of some of this. So the menu is already there, but what I want to do is I want to add different pages, different categories. Can't remember now in the new setup where where we go. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's change the logo there. Yeah, it's fine when they change stuff and it makes it easier, but when they change it and it doesn't make it easier, I think I'm just going to... going to leave best deals, leave contact us. I'm pretty sure you just drag this around. Guest tracking's fine. New element. Okay, there you go. So children's masks. Update. Now I'm presuming that I can add that down below that now. And I can get a category. I can get a funny, and then that lad funny there. But it didn't. It's because I didn't type it there. So that's how we can start creating our little drop down for our masks. If we look at that in the preview window, see now then under mask, I'll have all the different drop downs. So that's kind of cool. Mm, three degrees of hot, hot, and hotter for us. Hi today, not yay, but let's call it. Yeah, where are you, SW? We're, we're, we're up in the 30s again today in Spain. We've just had ridiculous temperatures. Um, so I'm going to do the same there. So I'm going to drag that underneath. I'm going to call this children's. You can see we can add the categories in here really quickly. Anything I'm struggling with is trying to remember where I added those categories. I think it was when I was doing products. Anyway, so that's fine. So um, I've got what other ones have I got? Let me think. I've got, let's put superheroes. Custom, so yeah, so I think SW 
I think we, what we were talking about the other day was adding to a Facebook link. So you could do that in the in the header. So you could add uh, social media if you wanted to, and then add a custom link to take them to, over to a certain page. Uh, what did I just call it? Oh, I haven't actually obviously created that category yet. Okay. So let's go back to pages. So now you can see on the drop down over there, it's, um, it should have those funny children's superheroes. And then obviously you put all your products into certain categories. So that's kind of cool. Um, this is all fine. We did this last week. And that was where we added that blog we started to add a blog yeah that's fine change the logo um, so let me have a look up here click to edit the layout and again I know that we're not going to be having um, mask heaven but because i've started with it carry on and i'll obviously be making a decision on um the color scheme for the logo i kind of like the blue and the white so this would probably stay the same and then you'd add your social media over here it's quite annoying how that pops up So that's just editing all of that in there. Let's save that. And let's go back to the admin panel. I'm pretty sure that actually the categories, etc., is pro I could probably edit in here. Gulf Coast, USA, awesome. Um, let's have a look. Payment methods. Domain. So that's obviously its default and given me that, but obviously we'll add a, a domain when we start selling. You got all your shipping settings in here. Taxes. You've got a staff account. email so it's pretty cool if you've got Groovecart and you, you haven't even tested it yet I, I would guesstimate uh, over four or five days of just doing what we're doing here one hour at a time two hours at a time you would easily be able to get your your, your store set up I've added I don't know, 50, 80 different mask products from AliExpress. Really easy. Once you've added the plugin, you can see it up here. You just click on a button, it adds it straight to your store. Then you add it again into your store. It's going very, very slowly. So, yeah, it should not take you that long. Okay. Get rid of some of these. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's trying to load the little page where it shows all the auto emails that get sent. It doesn't really matter. So actually, no, I can't change stuff in there. It's kind of annoying me now, though. I need to find where... That's all, ah, there, see, categories. <laughs> I just wouldn't have imagined it would have been inside of there. So let me quickly mess, get rid of some of these because uh, these were stuff that we were testing for my client. T-shirts funny, non-contact, content. So those were all enable selection, disable selection. Oh, sorry. I could actually have just delete, deleted it from over here. 
I want these social products to delete. Just get rid of all of it. Because like I say, we did a test um, store for that client and most of that info is irrelevant. So even if we've got like five minutes, even if I just clear up these um, and, you know, as I say, I've started setting up the mask drop down so I can add to all the different categories. I can't, I can't actually think of what other categories are there, but there's loads. There's some scary ones. There's some, um, I'll have to look again, but there were so many cool ones. They were really awesome. Uh, there was ones with vents. So I could have a, a, a different section where it's got vented masks. Let's get rid of that. And let me see, can I go in? Yeah, let's go into products, my products. So I'm going to drag this to one of my other screens just so it saves me time. And I want to add a new category. So what we've got, funny punk. Let's go with punk, add a new category. And yeah, so we're going to wrap up in sort of five minutes. Any other questions you've got, let me know. Um, you know, let me know how you're going with your store. If you want to send me over um, your store so I can give you some feedback on them, then please feel free. I'm just going to add a couple of categories in here. Uh, what have we got? Superheroes I did. Animals, there we go. We've got a load of animal ones with loads of cats' faces and dogs' faces, and they are freaking hilarious. Uh, and if you didn't see last week, look, some of them are here. Uh, can I preview? Yes, I can. This is some swim really cool ones. I didn't, didn't realize how many options were out there. Um, so you've got like, the cat one here. Well, that actually wasn't a good example. got the dog ones of course I'm previewing this in my store I love that look at that <laughs> not sure why it's not clicking now maybe that's the end of the images so yeah animals uh, where did I go animals so actually I don't want yeah I do Oh, that's fine, that's fine. And then basically I'd go back into my builder and I'll drag those in underneath the masks um, page. So let me see what other ones there were. As I say, we'll wrap up now or in a few minutes, adult men. More animals. Oh, ones with vents. I suppose I could call it a, vent, a vented mask or vent, just vents, vented. Let's call it vented. Then we can change it. Uh, what else? That'll do for now. That'll do. And then I'm just going to go back into the visual builder and just drag those in so that they drop down below the masks and then we're pretty much going to wrap up but um uh, where did i go menu okay so so let's have a look Funny. so it looks like i have to add that each time here Okay. Uh, so now I've got to try and remember what I said, animals. I think I spelled wrong on the other one, I've just realized. Category, I did, I did a double N. None of you pulled me up on that, tut, tut, tut. What else was there? Um, come on, brain, just looked at it. Oh, of course, I can go in here. So, vented. Uh, 
Demented, and what else was there? Punk. Let's add the punk one, and then we're pretty much there. Punk category. Punk. So if we save, uh, if we view that, that should. Now, again, I'll probably drag that actually closer over here and have the contact last, but I don't think I've got any products in each of these. I may have one in funny. I don't remember. No, I don't. Um, I mean, these are some of the funny ones that you can, you can see. But let me just drag that there. Which I think will look better. Oh, it hasn't done it. Anyway, so um, yeah, so we're, we're getting there. Um, as I say, what I'll do is uh, I'll get some more stuff on here done. Uh, if you've got any questions, fire them over in the Facebook group. Uh, come and uh, say hello on my YouTube channel, and um, you know, like and comment, and let me know what other videos you need doing. Um, Otherwise, make sure that when you are on, oh, someone's I just seen a little hand up. There's a little hand up from Mohammed. Sorry, was that probably from early, Mohammed? I didn't see that. Um, yeah, when you're on, you know, there's quite a few of you on in. Make sure that you interact, ask questions so that I can try and help you. Otherwise, um, go back into the, the group pages tutorial group. We've got over 800 uh, plus people in there now. And um, go through the task one by one, go through day one's task, and then go and comment down below day one's task, how that, how you found it, then do the same on day two, go and comment back down below that day two's task and post there, say what happened, what, what went well, what didn't go well. I need feedback because the challenge, I probably did the first challenge like a month and a half ago, a lot's changed inside of Groove Pages and Groove Sell, Groove Affiliate. So I may need to redo everything. I'm probably going to do a live run of it again, the 10 day challenge, um, but it won't be for another week or so. I want to get, I want to let them get um, Groove Mail finished, Groove Members just about the launch, and then we can do a lot more training in there so I can support you better. But thanks for turning up. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Wednesday, same time, same place. And again, any questions in between, just fire them in the group. All right, guys, have a phenomenal day. Bye for now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's What the Funnel training or whatever days it was. Make sure the link will pop up on the screen. Make sure you register for next Wednesday's um, live training. Come on, ask as many questions you want whilst we're on live. And also make sure when you register, you click to, um, to get all of the follow-ups. So that will just remind you every Wednesday. And also over here on the left now, a few videos will be popping up. Make sure you go and watch one of those and also subscribe, click the bell, do the usual things that would support me and my channel, you know, go and comment and like, etc. And I look forward to seeing you on the next What The Funnel live training. Bye for now.